Okay, I'm here with Bethel's new head football coach, Creighton Incorminius. He's a former state champion wrestler, assistant coach, and player with the Bruins. Came from York and a uh, coach uh, entering year one at the helm uh, at the alma mater and uh, getting some work here in the summer. How's the uh, process going uh, heading into the first uh, head coaching situation? Um, it's a process. Uh, doing a lot of teaching, a lot of learning. Uh, everything is different for them. Uh, I'm trying to teach leadership and responsibility and those sort of things. So it's a slow process. You know, we're trying to take our, our time with it as much as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. As you embark on this journey, what's some of the things, that, advice you've gotten, uh, such as from Coach Pereira as you go into the Peninsula District, where we know about how stored it is. You know about it with yes. the Hamptons, the Phoebus, mm -hmm. Woodside, very good. Um, certainly a tough road ahead. Oh, yeah. Um, learn. Learn from each process. Everything that happens, happens for a reason. Um, it never looks as bad as it is when you're going through it. Wait mm -hmm. till you see the film. That's something Coach P constantly had to remind me. Um, but it, it's, it's a process. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, all the coaches understand that, and, you know, step by step. Sure. Getting some good work in against uh, schools from various parts of the area and the state with Petersburg from Richmond, Granby and Wilson out of the Eastern District, Grassfield here as well. Um, what are you wanting to see out of this group from this camp as you move forward into July and then the this tough summer days as you get ready for the season opener against Maury? It's about competing. Um, they're going to make mistakes. We already know that because it's, it's a new offense. It's a new defense. Things are being taught to them that are different. Mm -hmm. So it's just about competing. We just want to see them compete and progress. You know, each day take a step a little further mm -hmm. and um, move towards it. So uh, that's about it. Yeah. A few more lectures on. I appreciate your time. Uh, let's highlight a few of the names to watch out for. I know you're still learning these guys as they are yeah. you, but I think it all begins with uh, Isaiah Smith and all state tight end for you coming back. Now. Yes, we've been to several um, 707s, went to John Marshall, went out to York. Um, he's had an excellent 707, him and Antoine Luster. Uh, Caleb Beard, the quarterback, has um, really shown a lot of great progress. Um, Isaiah, I can't think of it. We got about 10 mm -hmm. Isaiahs. Yeah. <laughs> um, our slot, uh, we call him Dez, has had an awesome, uh, also 707 and Joel. Mm -hmm. So we have several guys who who really excelled and they've really done. Now it's about putting on the gear and taking that next step. Are you a guy that in terms of, uh, you guys all the time new coaches, what's your philosophy offensively, defensively? Some will tell us about personnel. What's kind of your outlook in terms of what you want to run with this group and how much is it dictated on the pieces you have? <laughs> Whatever they can learn. <laughs> um, learned a long time ago, especially with my father. And, um, you know, he was really huge. Don't put in stuff that they don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, go with what they're successful with and then the other big thing is for us to be coaches. If they only know this amount, then let us make the tweaks and different things to put the bells and whistle on so that it's a little bit more than what it is. But whatever it is they can grasp and learn, that's what we'll do. Gotcha. Last one, thank you for your time, and I'm sure we'll be catching up here before the season gets opening uh, up in late August. I know it's early here, but do you have a sense of what this team could be good at or an area that could be a strength of this team? What's kind of the thing as you kind of look at it early? You know what, we could maybe hang our hat on this, whether it be an aspect of the game, offense, defense, special teams. What's kind of your thought early on here? Um, our philosophy is defense and specials, and that's what we're going to hang our hat on. Offense is going to take time to come and to do, but defense and specials, that's what we're looking to make the most leaps and bounds. Um, with the kids we have, it should not be an issue. Um, defense keeps you in game. Special teams can make a huge difference whether you win or lose. So that's what we really hang our hat on and, and try to implement that from day one. Sounds good. Well, a new era of Bethel football ushered in with Creighton and Corminius. Thank you so much. We'll be watching. All right. Really appreciate it. You bet.